By default in Revit, mass elements are transparent. In this example, we have a number of shapes that are in here. Currently, you'll see that we have wireframe defined. You can change the visual style. The elements will go ahead and change a little bit. When you use hidden line, you'll notice that the areas that would be hidden are kind of grayed out. Going ahead and using shaded on a mass element, you get a little bit of shading that kind of gives you a little bit more depth so you can see it a little bit better that way. The other two that you might consider is consistent color, where each one of the faces takes on a color of a default gray, basically. And then realistic does the same thing. It's just like a different color. In most cases, you might want to start off with shaded so you can see basically what you have there. There are two ways that you can change the transparency or color of appearance of a mass element. You can do it first through properties, or you can select individual faces. We're going to go ahead and select the cylinder, and under properties, you'll see here that there's a mass material category, which shows up actually only for the mass elements that are from the Imperial Library. You will not find this property involved with in-place mass elements or ones that come from the family editor. So I'm going to click in here. There's a little icon that I'm going to click. And as far as materials go, I'm going to come up here to project materials and I'm going down to miscellaneous. I have default mass glazing, which I'm going to click on. You can see that this is the color that comes in and it's fairly transparent. Now I can slide this back a little bit if I need to and press OK. And you'll see here that that cylinder went ahead and picked up that color. Another method is to apply by face. Now I come over here and select uh, this element and then come up to the geometry panel and look for paint and pick paint. And you get into the material browser in this case. We're going to narrow our selection down again to miscellaneous. In this case, we'll pick up default roof. We'll look for the top face of this element and click on it, and we'll do basically the same there. Now, there's others that are available. Here's a default mass wall, and we'll go ahead and click on that, and we'll pick up this face, and it kind of turns into green. And I'll pick this one as well. You can keep on doing that. I'll pick up a mass glazing, put it on this face and that face, and then hit modify. Now, if I want to remove any of these colors, all I have to do is select the box again and then come up to Geometry and instead of Pick Paint, pick Remove Paint. Then pick the face and it will go ahead and remove basically the color. You can also modify colors. You can add them. Right now we have this green color for a face. Maybe you want to identify a face with a different color for a different meaning. So in that case, we'll come up to the Manage tab, and we'll go to Materials. Under Materials, let's kind of shorten up our list here by going to Miscellaneous. We're going to pick up a default mass wall. In this case, we're going to right-click, and we're going to click Duplicate. Let's just call it red. So this material is going to be red. We'll come over here to Shading, and we'll pick up red, and then press OK. Again, you can play with the transparency, making it either more transparent or less transparent, and press OK. So let's go ahead and apply that material. So we'll go ahead and select the box. We'll change the paint to actually paint. And we'll go back into miscellaneous. Here's red. So we'll pick red and then pick a face. We'll pick this face too. And you can see there that the materials have been placed. So in most cases, you can use visual styles to see the edges of the mass elements. You can change the color and transparency of a material in the material browser. You can duplicate a material and then rename it so you can make any kinds of changes that you want. One of the nice things is, is that if you do make a change to a default material in the browser, it only affects the materials that are within the project. It does not affect anything that's in your library.